Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are doing really well. In this lesson, we're gonna be looking at squares. So, what is a square? So, first of all, in a square, all four sides have the same length. The corner angles are all 90 degrees. If I then draw the diagonal lines, what we would see is that they have the same length and they are also going to cut each other exactly in half. So we say that the diagonals bisect each other. And so look how, and see how I've made all four of these the same, okay? That doesn't happen in other shapes like parallelograms and rhombuses and things like that. Something else is that the diagonals cut each other at 90 degrees. So all of these angles in the middle will be 90 degrees. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that the corner angles are gonna be cut exactly in half. This doesn't always happen for all shapes, so you need to be careful about that. But for a square, the corner angles are bisected, and so each half would be 45 degrees. There we go, so those are the different properties of a square that you need to know. Now we're gonna practice some square questions. Here's our first question. So we have to work out X and Y, and we are told that this shape is a square. So we know that the corner angles of a square add up to 90 degrees. And so we can say that X plus 10 must equal to 90 degrees. And there you can say angle or angles of square. And so if you go work that out, you're going to end up with x is equal to 80 degrees. Okay, so we have that. And then we know that the diagonal of a square, so this line over here, cuts the corner angle exactly in half. And so y will be 45 degrees. And the reason that you use there is diags, meaning diagonals, of square, because that's what a diagonal of a square does. It cuts those in half. Here's another question over here. So here we are given a square, and we need to work out x as our first one. Well, we know straight away that x is going to be 45 degrees. Why? Because remember, for a square, this entire part is 90 degrees. And so if you have a diagonal, whoops, if you have a diagonal, it'll cut it exactly in half. So then our reason will be diags of square. Then to find y, remember when we looked at the beginning of this video, we said that all four of these angles in a square cut at 90 degrees. So we can say that y is 90 degrees, and that will just be diags of square. And then z, very easy, is also going to be 45 degrees, because it cut, this angle here is cut in half, and so once again, that's going to be diags of square. And so here's our last question for this lesson. They tell us that ABCD is a square and they say determine the value of X. What I would like to show you though is that this line over here is not a diagonal because it does not go from the one corner up to the other corner. So to find X, we're going to have to do something like this. We're going to have to start off here with A1. Now we know that this line is a diagonal and we know that the diagonals of a square cut the 90 degree angles in half. So this means that A1, angle A1, is going to be 45 degrees because of the diags of square. So this is 45 degrees. We also know that this is a triangle and the inside angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that X is going to be equal to 180 minus 30 minus 45 and that's going to be sum of angles in triangle. And so if you had to go work that out, you would get x is equal to 105 degrees. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Those are the basics that you need to know for a square.